Now, welcome back, our resident designer, Hamish Dodd. Now, you are not wanting to gloss over paints and what to use and where to use it. Very no, important, aren't they? No, that's right. A lot of people still get confused about what gloss level is used where because they are interchangeable and bits and pieces shift. So I called our good friends at Resine and got them to explain. OK, let's start with these ones then, the flattest of the flat. Flat paints, OK, flat paint diffusers, uh, light, therefore it's best on ceilings and um, perhaps walls that aren't in the greatest of shape because uh, it sort of masks dents and dings. OK, so it's good for if you want to mask those imperfections. That's right. A little bit harder to clean, of course, though. Why? Well, because it's so flat, if you scrub it too much, you end up polishing the surface of the paint, so you see where you've been. OK. OK. okay. That's so when, so when you get, oh, like on the screen, so if you get those fly spots on your roof... Yeah, that's correct. Baby wipes, so get those off pretty easily. Baby wipes help. There yeah. you go. Apparently, or shaving foam, someone said. <laughs> Haven't tried that well, one. Never that's heard it. Okay. That's a tip we'll Probably try. Probably hits my pay a man job, but that's all right. So what happens if you want to ha have an area of your house which is a little bit more hard wearing? More hard wearing. Like, okay, that's when we move into our low sheens and ultra low sheens. Okay. So they are designed to be more hard wearing and more scrubble. So that's the one that you have... You know, in kids' bedrooms, down hallways, you know, where sweet treasures and angels run their hands. Yeah, little darlings. Um, yeah. And look, you know there's yeah. people out there who perhaps um, don't use door handles. Mm -hmm. I love them. Mm -hmm. uh, they're good because then you get mess. So much more hard-wearing paint. This is for, for your walls and your ceilings and bits of pieces that may need more heavy-duty wear and tear. And you can scrub that a bit. Yeah, and scrub that a okay, bit. Good. OK, I'm taking lots of notes. Cause, good man. Yeah, no, because Kiwis love DIY, and I'm always at the paint shop going, I don't know. What I don't know which one I, I need. Yeah. So, so I'm pleased you're here. OK, so what about these ones here? What are we right, okay, looking for? Moving on to semi-gloss and gloss, yes. or high-gloss. OK, semi-gloss is, once again, you can use it for your walls. It is even more hard-wearing, but, of course, you need to have better protection against its imperfections. You use it on your skirtings, you can use it on your doors, you can use it on your window frames. I, myself, I like to jump up a level because I think it looks better and it wears better. High gloss. High gloss. Yeah, so you see the nice glossy, you know, window frames, and you get your little cloth and you give it a nice little yeah. wipe. It's clean, skirtings, things bang into them. It's better, it's more hard wearing. And if you want a lovely candy coated looking front door, high gloss it is. But the thing is with the high gloss, mm. how much preparation do you have to... A lot. Do? I would say... More and more and more. Less dings, they'll shut more dings. They, they do. Um, you can imagine your front door would look... Well, it'd look terrible from the outset, but it would look um, more terrible quickly if you used something that was too flat. Okay. Right. You get into something like this, it's hard, you know, the dog scratches at it, it's going to help protect it from that. Uh, yeah, it, it's, it's the way to go. It, you know what? Just use high gloss. OK, so, <laughs> so if I was going to get the look from resine.co.nz, yep. I've got an issue on my walls at the moment yes. where... <laughs> What's happening there? Well, no, there's, um, I've got sheet marks because I've got white walls and yep. I'm using black sheets and they seem to be rubbing They're up rubbing against, against the wall it. and so leaving a black... Your paint is probably too flat on the wall. <laughs> right. Therefore, it's, the, 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 it's, shall we say, it's like kind of sanding, it's buffing yes. against it. Yeah. Yes. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> It, it is quite interesting. So, I've got like train marks where someone's driven a little toy train into it. Not a sheet mark. No, I don't. No, I want, no. So what, if I was to repaint, what one would I use? <laughs> well, I would be moving into the semi-gloss okay, because cool. you would have that wall prepared really well so it looks great. Nice. It's going to be easiest to clean. And easiest to clean. OK, yep. good. OK, okay I, like that. I don't want to say anything, but black sheets... Oh. Black sheets. I'm a bloke, I have black sheets. Okay, well, great stuff, Hayley. Thank you so much. <laughs>